You make your promise to TFO. You saw it first on the fast lane truck. And so right here, a few minutes after it was unveiled, the brand new 2017 Nissan Armada. And coming up next, almost everything you ever wanted to know. Uh, my name's Peter Lutenbacher. And Peter, what's your title? I am the manager of product planning and strategy for Nissan North America for SUVs. And you just rolled out the brand new 2017 Armada? Yes. All right. And it seems like uh, it's a big SUV in a market that perhaps doesn't reward big SUVs. It's a big SUV in a segment of people that are looking for this kind of SUV. These customers still have big families. They're still moving people, their dogs, occasionally hauling trailers and that. So there's nothing else that really fits that need for them. Now the big news seems to be that the engine has been upgraded. It's more powerful, exactly. more fuel efficient. Tell me about that. So this is a common engine with the new Nissan Titan. So we're looking at uh, being able to get four, uh, excuse me, 390 horsepower, over 400 foot-pounds of torque on regular fuel. Wow. So it's a direct injection, variable valve timing, intake, and exhaust now. To some of you, this may look familiar, and that's because it is partially based on the Nissan Patrol. It's sort of a hybrid. It also has the new Nissan Titan engine. So it's kind of a hybrid between the Infiniti QX80 and the Global Patrol. So we've taken a little pieces from the Patrol to really give that rugged durability and then the ride comfort from the QX80 on the Infiniti side. And uh, I've also heard that you got a new seven-speed transmission. Exactly, again, a, a common uh, transmission with the new Nissan Titan coming out, so we'll have that, that same seven-speed transmission. We have a unique transfer case system for the Armada here. I'm always amazed when people like walk through the shot and they don't yeah, care, I know. They're, they're oblivious. They're oblivious, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how good is it off-road? It is very good off-road. Yeah. It's a very capable vehicle. We took a lot of the history and heritage of the Global Patrol and balanced it with what the U.S. customer really wants. They still want that on-road manners, but the occasional off-road usage. Yeah, so we have some of the engine components are cast here in Deckard, Tennessee, yeah. and then sent over to Japan to be a final assembly in Kyushu. Same plant as the QX80, the Nissan Quest. All right, here's the easy question. What's your favorite, favorite part of the new truck? My favorite part is the styling, hands down. Right. I love the tough, rugged look. It takes a lot of the Titan kind of cues with the, the grill mesh and that, and really gives a nice, beautiful package. Nissan says the new Armada will tow 8,500 pounds, which is a significant amount, and it will compete with cars like the Suburban or even the Yukon. Yeah, we're still seeing this as something that competes with the Tahoes. This is right up there getting with the Tahoe LTZs, the Yukon Denali's. We've seen this segment move more and more towards luxury as far as styling and perceived quality of the interior and exterior parts. So this really brings us up into contention with those models. Now the other big news of course is yeah, I'm doing an interview. If you could just give me a second. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the other big news is the electronics. Yes, so we've been able to add a lot of the key safety features that you see throughout the Nissan lineup into the, infant, into the Nissan Armada now. The around view monitor, the predictive forward collision warning, backup collision intervention, all of these key safety features that people are looking for in their family vehicles. All right, and the obvious questions are, how much does it cost and what will it be on sale? It'll be on sale later this summer. Pricing will be available much closer to start of sales. And MPG, same thing? Uh, again, we haven't yeah. announced yet. It'll be on, uh, noted a little closer to the on sale date. All right, we're well, we're doing final much. tuning, so I thank you. It. I appreciate it. So we don't know the pricing, we don't know the MPG, but we do know that it will be available this summer. So if you're yearning for a brand new Armada, all you have to do is wait a few months. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Truck. Stay tuned for wall-to-wall -wall truck coverage from all of the newest reveals coming up tomorrow from Chicago. See you guys next time. Ciao. Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here at the 2016 North American International Auto Show and this is a special guest because it's the all new 2017 Raptor Super Crew. And coming up next, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about its 10 speed, 10 speed automatic transmission and we're gonna talk about its new engine. Just wait until you see what we have in store for you.